If you've just tuned in, we're talking to Sleepless in Seattle. You called a radio station? Christmas Eve. He phones in one of those radio call-in shows and tells them... That his dad needs a new wife. And the shrinkette practically forces the guy onto the phone and says... Tell me, what was so special about your wife? Well, Dr. Marshall Fieldstone, I think. It was like... Magic. Magic. Sleepless in Seattle? That's what she called him on the show because he can't sleep. And now 2,000 women want his number. Dear Sleepless in Seattle, you're the most attractive man I ever laid ears on. The guy could be a crackhead. Actually, he sounded nice. You know it's easier to be killed by a terrorist than it is to get married over the age of 40. That's not true. That statistic is not true. That's right. It's not true. But it feels true. Sandy has a girlfriend, Glenda. She's a weightlifter. Well, it's not like her neck is bigger than her head. Well, no, 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 no. I'm not asking you to set me up. What about Walter? Walter and I are engaged. What? <laughs> Today, I consider myself the luckiest man, 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 face, 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 face of the earth. The Lou Gehrig line. The Lou Gehrig line. When's the last time you were out there? Uh, Jimmy Carter, 1978. Things are a little different now. I am having all of these fantasies about some man I have never even met who lives in Seattle. It rains nine months of the year in Seattle. I know! Tiramisu. What is tiramisu? You'll see. Some woman is going to want me to do it to her, and I'm not going to know what it is. You'll love it. What if I never meet him? What if this man is my destiny and I never meet him? Your destiny can be your doom. I want to meet you. Dad, read this, read this. Where is Seattle? Right. Where's Baltimore? That's ah, right there. Look, one, two, three, four, but there's like 26 states. But what I really don't want to do is end up always wondering what might have happened and knowing I could have done something. Is this crazy? Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you. What women are looking for. Pecs in a cute bun. This is the one I like. There is no way that we are going on a plane to meet some woman who could be a crazy, sick lunatic. Didn't you see Fatal Attraction? You can't even turn on the news nowadays without hearing about how some babe thought some guy's butt was cute. So has my butt. Not bad. Really? Yeah. Is it cute, though? You're grading on a curve?